Yeah, okay, so. Don't you let go, so. Yeah. Wilson, you are welcome to my house. Thank this you. is my friend, Egi Wilson. <laughs> uh, come to visit me today. It's yeah. my long, 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 long time friend from Africa. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Uh, my name is uh, Abbe TV. So I'm here with Egi Wilson. Welcome, Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Please follow Egi on YouTube, Instagram, and uh, Facebook also. Yeah. yeah. Um, Egi Wese is here today. I want to ask Egi Wese because it's long in uh, abroad. I meet him here. <laughs> So, old timer, old timer. <laughs> so, uh, our discussion about people running away from Nigeria, the youth, the little ones. What is your advice for them? Yeah, Abi uh, TV. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a good step. You know, in a situation where everything is in shambles, yeah. where people cannot get work, you know, having been to the university and they couldn't even get a job. I think there's nothing wrong in it to start thinking of running abroad. So my advice for them, because I have my reason for okay. giving ask, okay. is that what are your reasons? My advice for them is that if they live for abroad, for a better life, they should ensure that they are not intoxicated with the with the with the good thing they're going to see there. What do I mean by that? Because when they get to abroad, some them because it's, it's bad road, bad electricity, no electricity, this and that. When they go to abroad, they have all these things there. Yeah. You see bad road, like 24 hours electricity, and you know, enjoyment. Only in the like German, we always say, you know, because in Western world, nobody is going to tell you stop this. Thing. Nobody is already. They believe as an adult, you should know what is better for you. Yeah. So they shouldn't be carried away with all these goodies. All these good things, because I believe that when they are still young, you understand. When you are still young, the ways there are ways you think, you understand. Yeah. So by the time you get old, you started missing that your country you left, yeah. because here are here in abroad. You know, to the best of my knowledge, because I've been living for a long time here and I've worked in so many uh, branches here. I'm really integrated. I know the system. I, there's nothing anyone can tell me, I've, you know, that at the point in time, when you are old, you get to realize that um, African way is quite different from the European way. You understand? So, so like this uh, you said the uh, Africa way is different from. Can you just give us two uh, different from uh, Europa? Uh, yeah. Can you just give us just one or two different things? Yes. Yeah. The first thing I will talk about is this principle of individualism. Okay. Yeah. The German would say individualistische Gesellschaft. Like Europe is more of bureaucracy. Yeah. You are always on your own in Europe. Yeah. Nobody will advise you to do your things right. You should know it yourself. Even if you are old, you still go to market and buy your things. You are always alone. Yeah. Your children will leave you. Some will not even come to you again. They believe you will be able to sort yourself out because they are trained that way. That is the way they are trained. They believe you have to sort yourself out. You cannot sort yourself out. Call the government because of this social system. The social system there also, you know, you have to call the social or call uh, police or call 
you know, you are always on your own. Unlike in Africa, you always have people around you yeah. that support you. Yeah. Whatever you are doing, you see people gathering around you and support you. They help you to sort everything out. They help you. They direct you. They advise you. But here, you cannot even advise anybody. You advise your child, your child will tell you this is uh, that is old way of thinking, no way of reasoning. Here, this is what the government says. You have to do things on your own. So that is number one. Okay. Number two, why I say we are different is that uh, number two, you you are you are it's still it's still the same because you are you are you are always you are always alone. You are always alone. Huh. That is that is that is that is because the major reason. Thanks so that much. That is just the major reason. I think to let me let just have uh, one uh, question more before we uh, go for today. Uh, you know what do you think that we can do? to face our country in Nigeria. Exactly. So, what I will advise the Africans, Nigeria now, we are talking about Nigeria, yeah. especially the youth that are living now yeah. massively. Yeah. The youth are really going mm -hmm. And I can understand and that. And they are the function. What I say, they are the function of tomorrow. Yes, they now are now. They are building. Yes, they are going to be future of the Europeans. Yeah. In future, yeah. when they de when when they eventually stay there and never come back. Oh yeah. Some are even going and say, "Hey, thank God I yeah. left that country. I yeah. will never step there again." That's a lie. That yeah. one is a lie now because at a point in time they will start thinking of going back. That one is sure because they are a spirit that is always drawing everybody back. So my advice, how they can fix their country, is that I so much believe that. It is only the Africans that Africa fix Africa. The Europeans cannot do it for us. The Americans will never do it for you. It is the Africans that will fix Africans. And I want it, I want to, I want those youths moving now there. I want to I want them, them to see it as an opportunity. Yeah. You know, to, to come back and to come back America. and fix that country. country. Now, they are complaining that they don't have jobs and that when they now eventually get to Europe, they work, make money, and started thinking of investing in that country. To create by the time, people, Yeah, by the time they make money in Europe and invest there, mm -hmm. God's so good today, we are living in a modern world where you can be here and be controlling your business in Nigeria with a camera set up, uh, with, with camera everywhere. Yeah. You can be seeing your business even here in Europe. So now you they can come around here, make money, and start thinking of how to invest there so that they can create employment. Hmm. When you will create employment, you impact life of people that are living there. At least maybe 10 or 15 people are working in whatever business you put down there. Yeah. You are also helping people if these youth are going to work and spend eight hours in a place, they will stop thinking about committing crime. This is what they can do to fix the country. They have the opportunity now to move out. They should put it at the back of their mind that when I go there to wherever country I'm going in the West, I'm going to make money. If I make money, I will come and invest there. When we have massive investment in that country, that Nigeria, there will be massive employment. When there is massive employment, criminality will reduce. You understand? People will be exposed, yeah. people will be engaged, yeah. when they have work doing, yeah. they will also be planning to hold their own businesses. Yeah. They should stop relying on the government. Even this Germany we are yeah. today, what are government doing? Most of, what, most of the companies here are owned by individual. individual. Yeah. Americans are also investing here. Israelites are investing here, Jews are investing here. They are the people that are giving people money. They must invest. It is only when the European and the African in diaspora who are making money, who have the opportunity to make money, started thinking of how to invest in that country, create employment. That is how they can fix the country. Yeah. That's my take. Um, now, what do you advise our government, Nigeria government, to think of? Because all this 
this youth, they go to school, they are doctors, they are uh, some uh, engineer. When they allow them to go out of, they don't. When they run away from that country, then they go to Europe. They are creating more, more uh, develop to Europea, which their own country. But what do you think the government can 